my channel. My name is Tia. If this is your first time to my channel and the first video you're watching, welcome. So today's video is super fun, random. I just had the urge to create something blue and pink and decided why not a festival look. Splendor is coming up. So will many more festivals, so you can always save this look for the future. But essentially, it is just like a pink smoky eye with a blue spotlight sort of thing going on. I feel very... Um, alien like otherworldly at the moment with a little hint of mermaidness so but also like fairy with these little freckles so if you're going to a festival or you just really like fun makeup like this and you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching all right we're gonna start with the eyes i reckon first things first we need a great base to start off with so i'm just taking my mac soft ochre prolong wear paint pot I believe and just popping that all over my lids and straight up to my eyebrow as well. I'm just blending that in with my finger. Actually no, I'm gonna do what Nikki tutorials does. Or Nikki in general, her name's just Nikki but she just goes straight in with the colour and then like how do you do that? After deciding against setting um, the paint pot with a white shadow, I'm just taking the pink um, eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's called Hot Pants, I believe. Or No, it's actually called Marlena. So um, I'm just taking that through my crease and I will also work that up a little bit, as you can see, towards the brow bone. Um, but then to diffuse the edges, I've taken a light lilac colour, which you can sort of see. And um, that colour is called Hopscotch and it is also a Makeup Geek shade. Now going in with Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking that on the outer corner through the crease and then also the inner corner of the eye just to create um, the outside or the barrier of the spotlight. Going in with the Makeup Geek shade as well, um, this is called Mermaid, so this is just like a beautiful blue obviously, but it's got a bit of a reflex to it, so it kind of goes like a really light champagne colour, which is why it I found it hard to apply because in certain lights it looked like my skin colour still and I couldn't tell, so I ended up spraying my brush um, with a bit of setting powder and trying to make that blue a bit more pigmented, but really that's just the colour, it goes a bit lighter, so it looked like there wasn't a lot of blue. Taking my MAC strobe cream as my primer to give myself a nice glow underneath my base, I will be going in with a MAC foundation. This is a really old one, um, but it's super full coverage. It is also quite dark for me, but um, I would definitely wear this one with a tan. I just It's the only full coverage foundation I had at the moment and I wanted this look to be very glow. In my little Smashbox shimmer drops to start off with my highlight. Um, so I already did my concealer under my eyes and set that. So now I'm just moving on to the highlighting. So over the top of those Vlada Sparkle Drops, I'm essentially setting those with this um, Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector in Amethyst. So it's a really beautiful, soft, pinky purple highlight color. And I'm just popping that on my cheekbones. And then going ahead and setting my face with the Face of Australia Loose Powder. Had to go back and top up my um, highlight because I just really wanted um, the pink to show through. And then I'm taking um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight um, just from the Glow kit um, in that Glow. So popping that on my Cupid's bow and nose. To finish off the face, I'm going in with my bronzer from MAC. Um, I've used this one a few times now. It's the Biana bronzer. I'm not too sure if they still have this, but you know, a uh, bronzer is a bronzer, you know what shade works for you. Um, I do really like this one though, it seems to blend really easy for me, but it's also a really great colour. I find sometimes colour is the biggest issue when it comes to me finding the right shade um, of bronzer. And then off camera I did my eyebrows. So I'm back now with nicer looking eyebrows on my face 
and I am highlighting my inner corner with the um, a little white shimmery shade from the Nude Tude palette by The Balm. And I'll also take that shade um, on my brow bone too. Under the lower lash line, I'm going back in with the Modern Renaissance shade Love Letter and I'm just taking that on the brush that they actually provide in the palette and that's only going halfway um, towards the inner corner and then I will blend that out with a fluffier brush. And then in the inner corners, I've gone in with a Makeup Geek shade in... Um, black light and it's a duochrome shadow. Natasha Denona palette for blush today and I'm just using the light pink colour and popping that on the apples of my cheeks. Just giving you a close up there. <laughs> So off camera, I went ahead and did my falsies, my eyeliner and my lips. So the lip colour I have on is the MAC Cream Sheen in Creme Cup or Cream Cup. And my eyeliner I took in all the way to my inner corner just to do something a little bit different. I've never done this eyeliner look before and I'm totally digging it. This is the semi-finished um, look basically so you can totally just stop here um, I decided to go ahead and add a few little glitter pieces and faux freckles just to kind of I don't know get a bit more fun and creative with this look so feel free to stop here or go ahead and try out the next few things that I add on as well so firstly I'm just spraying a really tiny little brush I think this is like a lipstick or lip liner brush um, I also went ahead and set my face uh, just to give a more of a tackier base for the powder freckles to go on So I literally just used a light brown eyeshadow any I guess color freckle you want you can do them pink you could do them silver um, Absolutely anything just take an eyeshadow or a blush and just literally dot them on and then I went over the top with the lovely little glittery pieces I picked those up from Cosmetics Plus, they have a bunch of different designs, but mine are just little iridescent moons and they go a lovely peach colour or green depending on the way that the light hits them. This actually turned out better than I thought it would. I thought it was going to look like trash and I actually really also, as you can see, I went ahead and added faux freckles with a bit of um, brown eyeshadow and then I also added in more faux freckles with some little um, glittery moon iridescent shimmers that capture the light looking hella amazing. Um, they were just from Cosmetics Plus so that is everything. Oh, I wish I was going to Splendor. God damn it. Someone please like recreate this look and show me you repping it at Splendor because I'm so like excited by it. It's it's nothing like crazy with like super like decals. Like I could have probably done more glitter, like glitter through the brows or like those gem bindi things on the head. But I mean, this is my first real like attempt at a festival look. So. I'm pretty proud, pretty satisfied. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, give this video a thumbs up. And also if you're going to Splendor, give this video a thumbs up. And I wish I was you right now with a ticket. Oh, I am so bummed I missed out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and what sort of look you're planning to wear to Splendor. And also subscribe if you haven't already to join this beautiful little family we've got going on. And thank you so much again, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I do not want to wash this off. It's like 9 o'clock at night that I've done this, but I just don't want to wash it off. It's just so cute. <laughs>